Okay class, today we are going to learn chapter 6, Periodic Table. <coughs> These are the keywords for this uh, chapter. Okay, the first periodic table was invented or introduced by Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian chemist in 1869. Okay, the first periodic table is a compilation of chemical elements arranged in the form of a table. And this is the example of Dmitry's first periodic table. 6.1 classification of elements okay what you should know now is uh, what is the meaning of matter matter consists of tiny and discrete particles which are known as atoms so this okay this is an example of solid liquid and gas okay so the scientists they assume that the particle is uh, looks like a ball like this um, which is consists of tiny and discrete particles so each of these we call it as particles so as you can see the solid particles are very close to each other liquid okay there's a little space between them and the gas okay they are located uh, far away from each other okay size of atom is too small or tiny only can be seen using an electron microscope by enlarging the atom to a million times so as uh, example here, a cube of sugar, okay, the substance is made up of thousands of, um, thousands or millions of atoms, okay, each atoms, okay, like this, and here is the nucleus. So you can imagine how small or tiny does the particles. Okay, now is the atom and molecule. What is the meaning of atom? Atom and molecule, the meaning of atom is consists of three subatomic particles which are protons, neutrons, and electrons. So these are the composition of atoms. Okay, we'll go to one by one. What is electron? Electron is the particle with negative charge, while the proton is the particles with the positive charge, and the neutrons is the neutral particle with no charge. Okay, this is the structure. The structure of an atom. Okay, at the center is the nucleus. Nucleus is made up of neutron and proton. And surrounding the nucleus is the, the electrons. Okay, uh, the drawing if the you can see like this or either in this. Okay, next the number of proton. Number of proton is equal to the number of electron. Okay, this is the proton and surround the Nucleus or the proton is the, the electron. Nucleus is the positive charge due to the positively charged proton in it. So, an atom is neutral. The number of electron in an atom is equal to the number of proton. Let's say if the proton is uh, 2, then electron also will be 2. History corner. John Stan Stoney created the word electron in 1891. And the word nucleus is derived from a Greek word which means little nut. And this is an example of atom of helium gas, He, and atom of natrium, Na, the symbol is Na, and atom of aluminium, the symbol is Al. So all the symbols you can find in the periodic table. Next is the molecule. Molecule is the neutral particles made up of two or more atoms. Okay, molecule is the neutral particles made up of two or more atoms and this is an example of uh, molecule O2 okay O2 is the oxygen molecule okay CO2 carbon dioxide C6H12O6 glucose H2O water so the combination two or more atom like this we call it as molecule Okay, then this one is the example. Atoms is the smallest particles. Example, the coal molecule made up of two or more atoms. Example, oxygen, O2. So now you, I hope you already know about the word atom and molecule. Okay, now what is element and compound? Okay, now it's the element. Element is the simplest form of the substance. It cannot be divided into two or more simplest substances. Only one type of atom in an element. 
and this is the figure of an example of element. Element can be found in the periodic table. Okay, uh, I hope you have done complete your periodic table and color the periodic table according to its group. Okay, next is about compound. Compound is two or more elements combined chemically, produced from chemical reaction and produced in laboratory or in a natural environment. The component in a compound cannot be separated physically, but it can be done chemically. And this is an example of compound, the carbon dioxide, okay, which is made out of carbon element of carbon and oxygen. And we also have the example of glucose, okay, the combination of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And the last one is the uh, Water compound, the combination of hydrogen and oxygen. Aluminum oxide, aluminum and oxygen, ammonia, nitrogen and hydrogen. For more examples, you can refer photograph 6.1. Okay, how can the components of a compound be separated? Okay, the answer is by electrolysis. Okay, periodic table has been arranged in an orderly and systematic manner, increasing proton numbers and all the atomic numbers. As uh, of 2016, 118 elements have been discovered. Okay, in your periodic table, you will see like this. Okay, number six here is the proton number. C is the symbol of element for carbon, and 12 is the relative atomic mass. So, this is the periodic table. This is the period, and this one we call it as. So the periodic, the periodic table, we have group 1, group 2, so, and, um, and the last one is group 18. And the color also represents the groups of the elements. Uh, blue color here represents metal. Okay, the blue color represents the element of metal. Uh, yellow represents the non-metal and the green color represents the metal and non-metal. Okay, metalloid is, uh, is elements which has the properties of metal and non-metal. Metal and non-metal. Metal and some non-metals like carbon and helium exist as atoms. Similarity of metals and non-metals is both are elements. Germanium and silicon cannot be classified into metal and non-metals because both of them possess the characteristic of metals and non-metals. Okay, metal. These are the examples of metals. You can refer figure 6.9 on page 170. Uh, there are some examples of metal and the uses of metals. Okay, and this one is the non-metals. Example of non-metal: carbon, phosphorus, iodine, sulfur. Okay, next is the differences between metal and non-metal. Metal has a shiny uh, appearance compared to non-metal. Ductility. Ductility means the ability to be pulled into wire. Metal, you can pull it in to become wire. Okay, so we call it as metal is ductile. And the non-metal is not ductile. Malleability. The ability to be shaped. For metal, malleable. Non-metal, non-malleable. Metal, that which is malleable, is gold. The gold can be shaped to become a bracelet, rings, and many more. Next is the tensile strength for the metal is high, non-metal, low. And the melting or boiling point for the metal is high, non-metal, low. Electricity conductivity. Metal is a good conductor of electricity and also a good conductor of heat. While the non-metal is a poor conductor of electricity and poor conductor of heat. But generally, the non-metal is a poor conductor of electricity. But except the carbon because the carbon it has the free electron and can conduct electricity but with high resistance okay the carbon still can conduct electricity but not as good as the metal okay this is uh, how the shiny surface and the dull surface of the metal and non-metal okay ductility example of ductility malleability tensile strength Electrical conductivity, heat conductivity, density. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.